Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today we're going to accept a bunch of quests that we've already done. I made this javelin, that was one of the quests I had to do. Also made myself an actual uh, broadsword. Uh, seven attack, not so bad. And uh, we're also going to, um, let's see, let me get rid of this for now. And uh, we're also going to be working uh, with probably some iron and bronze and things like that. But we're going to get a bunch of quests that we've done already. So we get out of here and go to the Stone Age. I finally did the compact drawers, and so I'm happy about that. And we've done this framing. It's part of compact drawers, but I guess um, you make frames and stuff. I've never done it before, but uh, interesting either way. Uh, weird, huh? I believe the idea is you uh, do them from s you, you make the frame and then you can sort of like put them together and then now uh, we got this done and then we got the weapon done which you get a loot bag or aluminum brass ingot huh aluminum brass ingot might be worth ah we'll do the loot bag it's more of a an addiction to gambling but just saplings oh and I finally got the sapling one I just went to electros and just uh, boil some saplings. He actually let me keep some, so there you go. That was good. Uh, so let's go back here, and uh, then we don't have the sky stone yet. It's gonna take a while. We don't have the kill a bunch of uh, animal one. If they get like a hundred leather and a hundred meat, it's gonna take a wee bit. Uh, you can get a sacred oak, uh, redwood, or redwood sapling. Uh, I'm gonna grab this one and probably never plant it, but uh, at least I have it. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of these guys, our little trophies. wonder if uh, the currency is, uh, if new ones have been added yet. Not really, no. We haven't had coin of the, we haven't had enough of the coin of the, oh, is that it? So we can finally do that, it'll make me happy, I guess. There you go. So you can get this one, a maple sapling. Which really you can make with just maple syrup, but kind of cool. And uh, I've never planted one of these, but maybe I'll plant it just because we did it. Does it let you, like, harvest it off there? I have no clue. Either way, pretty cool. And uh, we'll get rid of this. And then coin, coin, coins. Yeah, so we've done all those. Uh, we don't have any of these ones yet because it's the nether. But we, got, we were able to use all these so far, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, I think that's it for the Stone Age for now. I still have these two objectives. They're going to take us a, a little bit, personal one. We're not touching this quite yet because we're going to go into multi-block goals. And we're going to work on this automation tier uh, today. So large bronze, large bronze tube, was it called? Or large bronze, oh, there it is. Fluid pipe. The fluid pipe. And uh, I've been filling this up like crazy. I've been putting these in. You remember to make the seared brick? Because I kind of want a lot. Looks like an enderman might have died in there. I have a lot of liquid ender. Uh, so I would like to uh, make uh, this today. So that was the one of the goals. So uh, let's see what we need for it. Oh, it looks pretty simple, actually. I need a wrench, though. Probably one thing I don't have in my inventory. I don't normally carry a wrench around just because not a lot of recipes require it. But I'm sure... Uh, now that we're doing more to be required, I got a lot of bronze. I uh, pre-crafted a bunch of iron and bronze since we're using quite a bit. So I thought that was kind of uh, important, of course. And uh, there we go. And then we got the iron gear. Uh, so a uh, hopper, I guess it is. Hopper. There you go. Uh... One, two, one, two, one, two. This is a different uh, iron, but I'm pretty sure we can make it just fine. There you go. And it wants us to make two hoppers, I believe. So uh, you're going to do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, a two, one, two, hammer, and it looks like that's a file. One, two, there we go. And uh, is that it? Does it complete that? I guess so. And ooh, we get a loot bag, steam, and glass. Because uh, the, the, the whole actual truth for this is actually for it for glass, I think. So uh, over time. But uh, let's open this loot bag. And uh, is there anything we can dump away right now? Because we have a lot of items in our inventory right now. But yeah, so I don't know how these work, by the way. 
They're supposed to take the textures of other blocks, I think? But I don't really know how well it does and all that, but I guess you put this in here somewhere. And then you take the look of it. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is considered a block, right? Oh, but it won't work. Looks like you can put more in there, though, too. Let's see. Oh, so you can change the facing. That's kind of cool. Oh, and it shows you 3D what it would look like. So this just lets you basically design uh, your guys up. That, that's kind of cool, actually. And this is how you make them. Are these cheap to make? Eh, I don't know. You'd have to look, but overall, these might actually be an easier recipe than the other one. It would use a lot less flint and chest, it looks like, overall. Oh, but that was just for that one. I don't know by the four times and all that, but cool anyways. Okay, so then, uh, that's really cool. Let's open this. I got an egg and food, or was that food from before? Let's uh, just get rid of it anyways. It might have been from before, to be honest. There you go. And uh, there we go. And then it looks like um, our next goal could be, and I think I'm going to do it anyways, is the railcraft stuff, which is a bit expensive, but so worth it, I think, in the end. So uh, let's do it. It's going to be, it'll take us probably a while, but I think uh, it'll be well worth it in the end. So uh, iron tank wall. So if you haven't done this before, it's not so bad. It's just Railcraft. Railcraft's a beautiful mod, by the way. Uh, I might actually be on... Oh, no. Uh, actually, I think I might even have enough. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we already have it up. Um, there you go. We need 30 of these. There you go. Yeah, and then uh, iron... Iron tank, uh, valve, I guess. Okay, so we have these bars somewhere here. Here they are. How many of those I need? Ooh, we don't have enough, do we? I think because we need to make two and you only get one. So, we have to make more, I guess. Vroom, vroom. There you go. And uh, we should have everything. Oh, no, we need to make some of these guys. So, one, two, one, two. I want to keep the one I have for other little projects. So, yeah, I'm not getting her that easy. There you go. So, we'll do this one. And apparently, I screwed up. And there you go. Okay. And then we should have it now. I think so. So, one, two. Oh, actually, I'm an idiot. We don't even have it at all. Because you got to do it twice, right? So, that's actually a really expensive uh, for the bronze. Bronze, apparently, is a, just a very, very expensive. Uh, it's pretty expensive. From what I understand, it's the most expensive thing out there. No, not really. There is a lot more expensive stuff that we'll probably never be able to do uh, out there. But uh, there we go. And there we go. And here we go. Okay. So one, two, one, two. Oh, and then we're gonna have to make more screws. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna need more iron. Okay. Actually, I think it's a file for this. There you go. And then we can do saw for this. Nice, almost broke it, but not quite. And then the screws. There you go. Finally. Here you go. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, and then one, two. And that looks like a screwdriver to put it all in. There you go. Whew. And then the last one was an iron tank gauge or iron tank. Now, I probably wouldn't have been able to make this, but I probably can now because we can do the glass, which, ooh, how do we make glass panes? Oh, we just cut the glass we just got, thankfully. Uh, oh.
Uh-oh, how do I make regular glass then? Chisel, maybe? Looks like it might just be chisel, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll sleep here. Yeah, this one's a bit confusing. I'm thinking I can chisel it, but uh, it is a little confusing, so we're going to have to play around with that. How many uh, of the glass do I need anyways? Pain glass. It's interesting it doesn't show this one, though. Sorry. Eh, whatever. The chisel one exi exists in there, so that's good. So I have the chisel tool somewhere in here. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, we might have to find it here. I thought it would was over here. I guess just didn't look in the right one. Okay, so uh, one, two. And there you go. There might be another way. I don't know, but we're doing it this way right now. And then back to iron tank gauge. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, it was the saw we we're using. So saw and glass. There you go. Just in case. I don't want to screw it up. And then. Uh, Oh crap, we gotta make two of these too. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sorry, right. I got the right glass at least. So smut. I was actually over making, but whatever. There we go. Now that should be everything. And it's happy. So uh, the smallest tanks are three by three by four, while the biggest are nine. Uh... Okay. So we can go, you can take whatever you want. I'm going to go for the steam loot bag because I'm a gambler. Literally, I think I just got sticky resin. What a horrible gift. Okay. So we'll go assemble this somewhat. Um, three by three by four, huh? I feel like this might be bigger than that, but I'm not sure. We might take this down and move it in another spot. Doesn't need to take up this much wall space anyways, so. So I'm thinking I'm putting this somewhere in here. One. Oh, my uh, pick got destroyed before and I forgot to fix it. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Yeah, my my pick takes way less material to fix overall. It's kind of interesting. So three by three would be nine, 18, 27. I guess it could be a three by three because it said the smallest is three by three by four. So I think it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, but one higher, I think. I'm not hundred percent sure here. I feel like this would be at the front, right? So, and then you'd have to put your iron tank valve. I say just put them on the two sides. Put this here, put this here, and then put the glass right here. There you go. And that holds 576 buckets worth. So that's pretty nice. 
and then you can just go right here uh, to uh, grab the creosote, which I wonder if, hmm, bottle. I wonder if these will work without uh, losing them. Holy crap, those are expensive. I should have been collecting those from day one. I think Electro was doing that. I was like, eh. I really hope we finish this quest. Oh, yeah, we did. I was like, eh, that would suck if we didn't. So here's the question. Glass bottles. How many of these do we have? Already none. I know what has some of them, I think. I just said this lemonade, I think, does. Sweet, sweet lemonade. Not that. It's like a Greg Tech kind of stuff. Those are pretty sure just break on the ground and you don't get anything out of them. Yeah, you don't get those. Might as well get rid of these. There they are. Now, I don't know if these will work. I'm hoping they will, but we'll see over time. The idea is if the glass bottles work, these will be great to take out of the ovens and then pour in the thing. But if they consume them, then they're going to be really bad because then, well, they're consumed and that's not so good. My hope is they won't get consumed, so. Okay, they get consumed, my friends. That does not work at all. What about a cell or something like that? Assembler. Well, my friends, that all sucks bad. I guess uh, buckets it is until uh, you fill it up or get what you want or whatever. Um, you don't have to do it, of course, that way, but... Uh, Seems like, unfortunately, that's the way things are kind of going to be. Okay, so let's ignore all this now and focus on what we were doing over here. Uh, so we got a bit more of this to go. There you go. And uh, so I'm going to do this, and then you're going to make something that can't be put in brick form. I think these can't. Yes. So you do this so it doesn't clog up the thing or break or whatever. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put this right like this. And it should work. Well, by the instructions, that should work. But what do I know? I just followed instructions here. Under the faucet came. Under the faucet. Oh, that has to be wrenched. We'd probably lose it if we weren't to wrench it, so keep that in mind. That would have been bad. Oh, here you go. You just break it with it. Okay. So apparently, this is considered a faucet. Yes. And then maybe, just maybe this will work. I don't know for sure. We're kind of Grasping at straws here, so this here, this here, and then turn this on. I feel old when this full fills, that one stops, but the thing is, it won't fill it up fast enough. Yeah. I have a feeling this might stop anyways, just because it can't do it fast enough.
But what you can do now is you can sort of automate this. This one's going to be a peep. Uh, I was going to say piss poor, but we'll say peep. Peep poor uh, method. Uh, but no, I don't think it's going to work as well as I was hoping. I assume this stops right when it's done. So that's why I'm saying I don't think it's going to be a good style of doing this. But anyways, uh, here we go. And of course, you want a hopper there. There you go. So you can do this, and then, uh, oh. The hopper must have, oh, there it is. I was like worried there for a second, there you go. Yeah, I was worried about that, so it shuts down when it does that. So, eh, you can make more, um, I guess you could probably make more of the pipe and then have it spread out. But at least it'll empty out sort of right now. And I'm sure other things will go fast enough later on. So uh, for this, it might not work so well. But later on, I'm sure it works really well. Uh, what about sand? Do I have any sand around here? So you can make glass uh, with sand, of course. So did not mean that. What am I doing that cause everything so dark looking all of a sudden? So dark and drooly. There you go. And the other hopper is kind of to fill this side thing up. So it could eat up a bit of fuel, but... That's the idea anyways. Go like this. Put a chest here. But you only grabbed one chest, silly. You could grab hundreds of chests, and you grabbed one. Okay. And then I think the idea of this is you can put, say, your glass in here. And this way the glass slowly smelts. But apparently glass does not work in here. Or it's too full. But I think it might not actually work in here. So we have to make the clear glass out of another method, I guess. Oh, glass dust. Huh. I really don't know, guys. Clear view. Maybe it teaches you there, but either way, apparently this is not how it works, so might as well. What was that? You can click it and it does it all faster. Oh well. Okay, well that doesn't work. But at least we can do, you know, what we're doing here for this part anyways. As much as it sort of works. Actually, it does look decent. You still have to do it here and there for that one anyways, but you know what? It works pretty damn good. It's better than uh, doing each one by hand. So, I can't complain. It looks like you can do quite a bit at one time too, right? So, uh, yeah. So, look at that. We did, we did pretty good. Um, unfortunately, the Railcraft stuff, I was hoping for an easier way, but um, it will still work, of course. It was just not as easy as I was hoping. I don't think you can use a seared tank though. That would be kind of cool, but uh, pretty sure seared tank can't act up like a bucket, so that's not gonna work. But we got lots of buckets to use, so uh, I guess we'll have to start getting used to that. 
and then we can start uh basically i guess the way to do this is just you go like this boom boom kind of thing and just right across there you go but uh you could probably put it all into one spot it'll go across then you do it one back and forth and our water thing is working of course decently out of 150 buckets worth now so that's nice so you go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So eventually when you're done with this, you will cry in pain because of how painful this can be, but in the end, uh, it will work out anyway, so can't be that bad, right? And if you just don't want the creosote, you can just break the middle bottom block. It has to be the bottom one. That's where Railcraft stores all the information. So even if you broke all this, you'd be able to still work on it if, as long as your middle one is intact, I think. Um, and it's still considered the center of it, I think. But uh, either way, you get the idea. Uh, works out pretty good. So these were pretty much, they were going to get full after this five. So you can see that's already making a bit of a impact and a dent on it. And then you can uh, do more coke coal, of course. That's pretty much what I do with all the coal now is I convert it there because it's the most efficient way. Also put the iron furnaces in here. So you get more, uh, I believe they're about 30% overall more efficient, but uh, oh, I'm taking them out of there. Imagine I just like my brain shuts down and I started to actually do it the opposite way. Uh, so it should be uh, decent for that anyways. There you go. Excellent. Anyways, uh, I think that might round up this episode. I think we did pretty good. Uh, next time it's pretty much we'll start working with a bit of the machinery, uh, I guess. It's pretty much time. I mean, we've been dicking around a lot. We could probably work on this part here. Uh, this one is actually not too bad, I think. So we probably could work on that first. Uh, and then we're probably moving on to doing a bunch of the bronze stuff. So lots of work to do, um, but it's going to be fun. And I think we'll enjoy it in the end. But uh, either way, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.